Welcome to the lesson, Just Partial Tools and Analysis for Landscape and Cultural Heritage. I'm Andreas Passiano from Water Resources Search and Documentation Center. In this lesson, we first describe the connection between urban planning, cultural heritage, and landscape. Then, we introduce GIS and digital mapping as tools for geospatial layer analysis. Finally, we focus our attention on benefits of geospatial analysis and its usage for cultural heritage and landscape management. Cultural heritage and landscape are two resources that cannot be reproduced, but are highly exposed to risk factors. They are an integral part of urban and spatial settlements. Their management affects the socioeconomic development, sustainability, and resilience of cities. For these reasons, main goals of urban planning are identify and map cultural heritage, environmental assets, water resource system, hydromorphological feature, historical monumental feature, archaeological settlement, and infrastructural settings. Monitor risk factors, degradation, and ongoing transformation. And finally, the goal is plan future urban development scenarios for urban regeneration and the management of ecosystem services and landscape. As attested by World Heritage Convention in 1992, cultural and landscape are combined works of nature and humankind, expressing intimate relationship between people and their natural environment. Reflecting techniques of land <clears throat> cultural landscape reflecting specific techniques of land use associated with traditional custom and biological diversity. Cultural landscapes revealing diversity of human environment interaction and finally testifying creative genius and social development. Natural environment is the background for the anthropic action. Social pressures, cultural values, and historical processes have been shaped over time landmarks, territorial balances, and structure. In the context of digital transformation, urban mapping and planning activities rely on digital data visualization. Data visualization indicates the graphical representation of data to simplify the understanding of phenomena. Geospatial technologies make it possible to visualize and interact with data, providing essential information about the location of elements and events. The main tools for geospatial knowledge and development and analysis are GIS and digital mapping. GIS stands for Geographic Information Systems. GIS is a particular information system able of acquire, memorize, extract, process, and visualize geospatial data from the real world. GIS can work with data related to geology, land use, elevation, hydrology, environment, infrastructure, and cultural heritage as main example of data that we can use in a GIS. GIS can manage several sources of data, such as vector data, raster data, satellite imagery, or tables, such as Excel tables or CSV. A GIS consists of user, software, hardware, procedure, and methods applied to the study and analysis of natural and urban ecosystems of all kinds and for the sharing and use of geographic information from decision-making process. So GIS is not only software, but a system that coordinates all these components. Digital mapping refers to the use and production of geographical information to create digital maps and virtual images. Content can be analyzed and represented dynamically and interactively by user. The interaction between the digital maps and the user 
takes place by means of dedicated digital software and platform structure as application installed on their own device, for example, desktop software application, or as web application usually implemented in cloud platforms. But what are the benefits of geospatial analysis for urban planning and cultural heritage management? First of all, geospatial analysis provides performance insight, visualizing data in the context of a visual map makes it easier to know and understand how events are unfolding and how to react to those events. Second advantage is the better prediction, seeing how spatial conditions change in real time can help an organization better prepare for change and determine future action. Finally, targeted solution. Seeing location-based data helps organization understand and contextualize events by identifying suitable solution to the problem or simply the knowledge of the problem. To better understand the first part of this lesson, to conclude this lesson, let's now see a GIS-based solution developed by the Water Resource Research and Documentation Center as, a, as an example of dashboard developed to support planning and protection activities for cultural heritage. We can see how digital geographic data and technologies can provide helpful insights for a better knowledge of landscape and cultural structure. Now we can see synthetic video of the solution. The solution presented is a GIS dashboard for the recognition and mapping of landscape features in Rome and Lazio in central Italy. The solution is designed to support careful urban planning activities that are aware of delicate environmental and landscape balances. This solution is an empirical example on the use of digital data for urban planning and cultural heritage management. The city of Rome and the region of Lazio present a very complex context due to, to the intersection and overlapping between urbanized area, brownfield, with areas of natural, archaeological, and landscape interest. The dashboard provides a dynamic scalar representation of the four basic geographic features, water, archaeology, landscape, and green areas. Additional functions allow querying and exporting landscape and heritage data to implement targeted and customized geographical analysis. Dashboard integrates digital geographic map visualization with infographics that synthesize the main feature that distinguish landscape. By providing an inventory of sites and area in a specific frame, and by illustrating the composition of urban areas in percentage. Thanks for your attention. For any information about us, please visit our website and follow us on social media channels.